Hello everybody. It's a long time I don't make a video here. Uh, today I'm going to do a um, stomach cow with a little, I put a little bit of pork meat and a little bit of sausage inside. It's already, a, the stomach cow, it's already cooking here like 25 to 30 minutes. I have the Portuguese sorry, chorizo and I like to put a little bit of uh, meat. I didn't have cow meat, I put uh, a little bit of pork. Okay, just for you guys to see um, how it is. Take another one to pull down a little bit. Stomach cow. I'm going to cut it in pieces like this. In Portuguese, we call it uh, dobrada. With a. But it's hot. I'm going to do it with uh, white beans, like usual, like a Portuguese way. I'm gonna cut everything in pieces, the chorizo, and to grab it before. Like this. See? It's really tender. This is really tender. This one is uh, it's really, really tender, actually. because of the noise and um, cut everything in pieces like this it's been a while actually I didn't I didn't put a video and my friend was telling me hey man you have to do something like old school this is old school the only thing it's more new it's the because I put the meat and normally it's only the stomach cow a little bit of chorizo and the white beans, you know. And uh, it's a very, very known dish in Portugal. A lot of people like it. Normally the young generation, not that much. Like me, I'm an older guy. I was raised uh, eating this kind of foods. Not all the time because it's a heavy food. But sometimes it's very, very, very good. I love it. Okay, guys, I'm gonna continue here um, cutting this, and I'm gonna show you after the cutting the chorizo a little bit. But I can show now also, just for you guys to have an idea. Well, this is the chorizo. This, and I cut it in a. this here and I cut it in small circles like this you see cut it in small like this it's very good and uh, I will be with you guys in a little bit when I start doing this too okay guys see you guys in a little bit okay guys we are back here like you see the Portuguese chorizo a little bit of pork meat because I like it you know and um, and the stomach cow like it's only for me and I'm gonna give a, a little box to my friend I don't put much or else I would put another pack like that if it's like for three four people I would put another pack like that and no meat this is normally it's all about this and uh, half of this I'm uh, abusing a little bit but it's for me and I like meat, I put a little bit of meat. Now I'm gonna put some garlic, I have here like a, um, two, four, six, seven pieces of garlic. Me, I am a garlic guy. I really like garlic. I don't cut it too, too, too small. You know, uh, for me it's uh, like this, it's good. A lot of people they do it like very very small bit like this 
Normally I don't do it like that, but it's okay. Everybody has their own way to do it. I don't cut it too small. Or else I use the machine to, to make it very, very small. Cut this. I'm gonna cut all, all this here. I have water boiling already for after. Finger John. This. this is good. Seven pieces of garlic. Like I said, I am a garlic guy. A lot of people don't like much garlic. The onion I do the same thing. I have two medium onions, not very small onions. Let's see here. Separate a little bit. Let's see. It's an easy, a easy dish to do and 99% uh, of the Portuguese people, they know what it is. Maybe a lot of the, this young generation, they know what it is, but they don't like it normally. They like only the meat and the beans and the, the chorizo, like chorizo or sausage, depends on how you guys want to call it. But for me, it's a chorizo, Portuguese chorizo. Cut this. This is done. You see, very easy. I'm just gonna get here the tomato paste and pepper paste. Uh, tomato paste and pepper paste to be ready here. You see, tomato paste, the thick one, and the pepper paste. Now I'm gonna put fire on the pot like this this olive oil olive oil a little bit of olive oil a little bit more olive oil guys very very good as Portuguese people we use a lot of olive oil now let it warm up a little bit I'm gonna open this right away You guys, if you guys do it and you taste it, you guys are gonna like it. I hope so. You know? It has a little bit of water, that's why it's jumping like that. Now I put the garlic inside. Just a few, uh, few seconds before the, like a minute before the onion. <laughs> Just mix it up. I think you guys can see it good. I'm gonna push it a little bit closer. This. When it starts to. Uh, see. 
like this. Just a few seconds more. Just for the olive oil to gain the taste of the. You see, when I see the small pieces starting to be brown, you see, it's starting to be brown, the smaller pieces. I put the, onion in, the onions inside. Look, onions inside. the garlic comes brown very very fast. Like this. Been a long time guys I don't make a video. Been a little bit busy also with my life. And now let it cook just a few seconds. Open this. Normally I don't measure by spoon, but with you guys I'm going to measure by spoon. For you guys to have an idea how much I put. This is a pepper paste. Sweet pepper paste. Two, three. I'm going to say four soup spoons. And then, um, oh my god, it doesn't show good there in the video. I'm gonna try to do it the other way. One, two, I'm gonna put a little bit more. Two spoon and a half of. Um, tomato paste and just stuff the spoon here okay now I mix it up <coughs> I don't put salt here because I put salt on the meat already and in the end because when I cook the stomach cow I put uh, salt and water and I put a little bit of uh, the meat that I have here and the chorizo well, the way that I put salt there I don't um, I'm not gonna put salt now and I taste it in the end only to see if it needs a little bit okay, now I'm gonna put a little bit of black pepper not exaggerating just a little bit and I have a water boiling there already. I have to put a little bit of water to don't get dry. You see guys, it's starting to dry up a little bit. I just need to put a little bit. I'm going to put the stomach cow inside, the meat, and the chorizo, everything inside. Right there, right there, right the way. Mix it up. I'm going to use uh, pre-cooked white beans. Now I'm going to put a little bit of hot water. It's here boiling already. This water was very hot. It's very, very hot. Just to cover the meat. You see? It's one liter exactly what I put there. But depends on the quantity of the meat. Now I mix it again. 
and I'm gonna let it cook here a good like uh, another 10 minutes okay guys see you guys in a little bit okay okay guys we are back after 10 minutes see like 10 minutes look you see now I'm gonna put the beans inside normally I cook them but I have the pre-cooked white beans white pea beans that's uh, normally what I use I take up the liquid okay guys from the oops sorry from the box I'm gonna put four boxes four cans I mean sorry it a little bit okay. I have four cans to put inside but I think they're gonna fit and after I'm gonna do some white rice on the top on the side I mean I'm gonna do some white rice and um, then I to serve I put a little bit of a uh, white rice and or you can do rice with vegetables depends on what you like more and uh, you serve with this on the side you know it's a it's very very oh my god very very good the pot is full you see now I let the beans cook another five minutes and I'm going to do maybe a little bit of rice if I don't have there already done in the fridge. I think I have a little bit there with vegetables, I think. That's what I'm going to use just to show you a plate after in the end. Okay, now I let it cook like another five minutes and it's going to be ready guys, okay? Just don't forget, if you guys would like to put some uh, spicy, you guys can put some spicy. And uh, don't forget to taste of the salt. Okay, guys, because it's all very important to taste if the salt is good. Okay, guys, see you in a little bit. Okay, guys, uh, here I am back. Actually, I had this rice there already. Okay, uh, I didn't eat it. But uh, normally I do uh, rice like this with vegetables or white rice. And the, the food is done already. Look how it looks, guys, look. See? Now, I'm gonna put it here. I a lot of people like to put it on top of the rice, not me. Me, I checked for the salt. It was, uh, the salt was uh, almost there. I just add a little bit. A little bit of sauce here. You see, guys, here it is. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You know, here it is, the final dish. I like it like this with a little bit of a uh, sauce. And um, a lot of people like it more dry. Me, I. That's the way I like it. I hope you guys enjoyed it, guys. And if you guys uh, taste it one day and try to make it. Do it, uh, tell me your feedback after in the comments if you guys don't mind, okay? Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys for watching. See you guys next time, okay? Bye-bye.